Hello my soccer universe! For another collection video with a little twist we are looking at this 2008-2009 Bayern home jersey which I got uh, in 22 because I thought that Bayern have a good chance to make it deep into the Champions League and I thought at this point I only had a Bayern home, uh, home jersey, the all red one uh, and I decided yeah it might be a good idea to get a second one as well and then I was scrolling on Wilhaben, you know, this was kind of in spring and someone was giving away this one for free. All I had to do is pay shipping, 5 euros. And it was one of those things where I immediately pounced, I mean free jersey, pounds immediately, it will, uh, I always said it will serve me well. And therefore I went for it, I got it. Fortunately, I saw it does have a few flaws that we'll be looking at. It is also, while in a way it's a classic Bayern jersey, um, classic in, in, in a sense there are lots of memories attached to it, um, it is also one that comes from with a very, very, very weird template. It also was a double XL, which kind of makes it look even huger and even more weird uh, than you would expect. But yeah. Uh, it served me well, especially in the 22-23 season when Bayern have, were having the last time a jersey with some white stripes. But in my process of kind of eliminating jerseys, this one was picked as one of those where I think it doesn't add any value really to the collection. I don't need that many Bayern jerseys to be honest. Uh, and so I decided that's one to let go of and as I'm shooting this video I already have uh, someone who will pick it up and I decide yeah let's make this video give it its proper due on the channel because I would still want to um, uh, document every jersey that I ever had in my possession uh, in a way but then uh, this is his last run teeny bit sad but actually not that much because I think there are better Bayern jerseys out there and I always thought if I want to have another proper home jersey Bayern jerseys around here are really, really easy to come by and you can get some really, really nice ones. Maybe not for that price. So let's look at a few details of this particular jersey. Okay, here it is up close. I mean, the first thing that everyone will note is the way that the stars are aligned here. There are four stars, but the one is up top here, which is very, very interesting because when this was released, Bayern still had 19 titles. This was in for the 06, 07 season. And then they won the title with 20. You get four stars and they just decided for two seasons they did this, that to have the star here up top, which kind of looks a tad weird that then evened it out a little bit. I think even for the away jersey uh, in the 08 09 season, they actually put it here on the side, but it is curious they kept it up top here. Uh, I definitely checked it in the preparation for this video for the 08 09 season. There is one game and that's why I'm wearing Wolfsburg, where because that was the season where Wolfsburg beat Bayern to the title. Uh, there was the one game where Wolfsburg won 5-1 and I saw the stars were really put this way. Now, I said it's a very, very weird te te template and I have, have to say, well, this is still kind of this team guys, uh, the second team guys um, iteration. This one uses a really odd shape and it's great that for Bayern, they actually decided to keep it all in red. So it doesn't look that bad, but you see here, there is the white inset panel here, which I think is fine. Then you have this color here that actually goes kind of uh, this patch and then it, this one looks like a hammer almost that goes all the way around goes to the back curves around here which is really really odd and then comes really strong to the front as well kind of cutting off the pattern on the bottom and I can tell you if this was a normal template with not these uh, weird shapes uh, I probably would have kept this jersey even because I think this it has a really strong buyer look in in a way the other reason that's why i got it for free of course is that you see already the t home sponsor the h here it's a teeny bit broken and if especially if you go on the back the bayern munich bayern münchen bayern münchen doesn't really exist all that well anymore it's all a little bit rolled up 
it's a little bit of a shame, but yeah, so be it. Um, other than that, this typical team guy stuff with kind of a little bit, the uh, sleeves are a little bit uh, taller on the top than on the bottom, which was, uh, there's not the team guys logo any, any, anymore. I'm not, I'm not sure if it was called team guys uh, at that point. And then of course, the, uh, this is another one of those nonsensical insets. But again, credit where credit credit is due, Adidas could have gone all out and made, for instance, this a whole white panel and so on. But this just bugs me. I have to say that uh, I think the jersey up until here looks kind of all right, but here I would have liked that it goes all straight and that especially the lower panel goes straight and maybe that it even wraps around that would have made it also a nicer jer uh, uh, jersey. However, um, it was also a jersey that after a long time where Bayern didn't have a proper red and white, uh, they had kind of dark jerseys and, and so on that they were back in red and white, which was course very important and very popular with the fan base and you know it had also some players that we'll talk about uh, shortly that made this kind of a popular jersey and I think the base template with the horizontal stripes is not a bad one I really gotta say however um, execution that's a little bit what's lacking in my opinion As I said, this is the 08 09 jersey, and why do I know that? Because the same jersey was worn in the 07 08 season where Bayern actually won the title. Uh, the tag on the inside of this jersey uh, dates it with May 2008. So this was produced for the 08 09 season. It is virtually indistinguishable from the one previously. Maybe there was a sponsor change. Uh, might be That might be the one thing that would happen. We already said it, this was the season where Wolfsburg pipped Bayern to the title. It was a season of major change. Oliver Kahn had just retired. Um, Ottmar Hitzfeld stepped down to coach the Swiss national team. So uh, loads of changes there. I think Mark van Bommel took over as a captain. Uh, Jürgen Klinsmann was appointed as a coach after his uh, fairy tale story at the World Cup in 2006. So there were high expectations. And it all went really, really, really sour. In the second part of the, of the season, Wolfsburg was just a better team. And as I said, completely destroyed Bayern. 5-1 away from home. A wonderful uh, Grafitsch goal that you just have to watch. Because uh, just if you find Wolfsburg 5-1 Bayern highlights, watch that one goal. It is just uh, amazing because goals like that get rarely scored against Bayern. Uh, it is also... Uh, a season where they then lost out in the Champions League, although they had a pretty strong showing in the Champions League. Um, at, the, at the beginning, we, we win the group and then in the round of 16, uh, cruising by Sporting Lisbon 12-1. Curiously enough, I have the Sporting Lisbon jersey from that season as well. And then they were completely destroyed by Barcelona in the semifinals where they were losing 4-0 uh, away from home and then managed a 1-1 in Munich, where they were of course wearing this jersey, uh, it, and in the cup they were also eliminated, so it was a rare title season for Bayern. Players that use this jersey, and this is the interesting thing, because uh, you will know quite a few of those. Uh, we of course had uh, Bastian Schweinsteiger was in there, there was a Philipp Lahm in there, there was a Miroslav Klose and Luca Toni up front, Frank Ribéry was already there, Toni Kroos played for them. You know young at this point but that was honestly a squad that was loaded and was of course up for bigger and better things Jürgen Klinsmann though was quickly fired uh, I think it was also that the goalie situation with you know uh, Rensing and Hans-Jörg Putz was not a great one to be honest but there were some really really cool uh, players in the mark from Bommel as that was the captain when I look further, uh, there there was a Zé Roberto, Hamid Altintop, um, Massimo Odo, <laughs> uh, Ma uh, Martin Dimitri Michaelis and Daniel van Beiten. So really, really interesting players. And of course, a young Thomas Müller also played in that one. So pretty loaded squad, very disappointing season. However, that was to change rather quickly. I have to say that a subsequent Bayern jerseys, maybe not the one for the 09 or 10, but then the next one, uh, were 
definitely better looking and there were some really great jerseys coming up afterwards any case goodbye to this jersey it served me well for an entire season but i need to have space in that i'm i'm actually in in, in, in a way okay with letting it go please let me know what you think about this shirt uh give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video subscribe to my channel if you want to see more i'll talk to you soon bye hey there i really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too also please consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the little bell icon so that you get notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe and with that have a wonderful day bye